After years of building an empire and raising her family, it looks like Amber Rose has moved again into another multi-million dollar mansion. If you've ever wondered where Amber Rose calls home, today we're here to show you. Amber Rose has quite the real estate portfolio moving from her modern Hollywood Hills home to her $4 million Tarzana mega mansion. And it appears she's acquired yet another new house according to Instagram. They expect me to be like, I was a stripper and I had a hard life and I was the best time of my life. She's definitely come a long way since living off that stripper money. Amber Levanchuk, who we best know as Amber Rose, according to Wikipedia, is a model and actress. <laughs> actress? <laughs> <laughs> At the time of this recording, she's 36 years old, and let's be real, a lot of us got most familiar with her from being a famous girlfriend, especially since she's the ex of Kanye West and Wiz Khalifa, and of course, you know, Wiz is the father of her first son. I was wondering what Amber Rose has been up to recently, but she's been busy because she just welcomed her second son, Slash, in October. She seems happy with her current man and baby daddy, Alexander A.E. Edwards, who's the vice president of A&R for Def Jam Records. Aside from now being a mama of two, Amber Rose also has been an activist for a few years, hosting the Slut Walk before she cancelled it in 2019. I decided to have a slut walk for women that have been through Not to mention she briefly had a talk show on VH1, but when that didn't last, she turned to podcasting. Of course, Amber is also making bank as an influencer, especially on Instagram. Apparently, she brings in something like 2 million US dollars a year from the platform alone. I'm not surprised though, since at the moment, she has over 19 million followers. That being said, sources say that Amber Rose's estimated net worth these days is 12 mil. Woman has clearly done well for herself. Despite all of these tabloids and videos documenting all of Amber's famous ex-boyfriends, today we're not going to be focusing on that, and instead we'll be looking at her real estate. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to look at where Amber Rose is living, give you all the details on her mansions, and what we know about her new place, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed, and ring that bell to be notified we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on celebs like Rihanna and Chris Brown, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Should I do one on Amber's ex Wiz? Anyways, let's get into this video. Before we talk about Amber's lavish mansions, let's see where she came from. She grew up in South Philly and has always been pretty open about the fact that it was far from the American dream. The neighborhood Amber Rose grew up in was tough to say the least. She actually has posted a pic in front of her childhood home or apartment stating in the caption, Came to see the apartment I grew up in, South Philly. I'm forever humbled by my life and thank God for everything he's done for me and the people he has brought into my life, good and bad. Everything is a learning experience. I intend to learn more. I won't let this cold world break me down and even through all the trials, tribulations and trolls, Mava is still strong because I'm a down home South Philly girl at heart. Although Amber definitely got far away from her troubled life growing up in South Philly, she doesn't forget it happened. Amber Rose apparently started stripping at the age of 15 to provide for her family after her parents divorced. She also said that most of the kids she knew from her hometown almost all ended up on drugs or dead and explained, I saw someone get shot. It was an older man coming out of a bar and I started running the other way. So it's safe to say that Amber Rose should be proud of herself for overcoming those toxic times in her childhood. Since we've seen where Amber came from, now let's look at where she ended up moving to once she made it. Amber used to live in a gorgeous contemporary style house in Los Angeles. It was located in the Hollywood Hills area, perfectly fit for a celebrity. She lived here until she moved on to an even bigger mansion in the Tarzana area of LA. This house was put on the market for just over 5 million back in 2016 and was 9,300 square feet spread across two stories of living space. There were six beds and seven baths. 
Since it was high up in the hills, there were impressive views of the city, and since it had a ton of windows throughout, the home let in plenty of natural light. Amber Rose's Hollywood Hills home had a sunken living room with a floor to ceiling fireplace, and upstairs there was a formal dining room and chef's kitchen. Other indoor features of this home included an additional family room, a large home movie theater, and a gym. The master bedroom came with two baths, and the junior master suite opened up to a patio area, which also connected to the home gym. And of course, there were additional bedrooms for guests. If that's not enough, outside there was a one bedroom guest house as well. Amber's Hollywood Hills property also had a pool and spa, a gazebo, and parking for eight cars. I really liked this home had a lot of open living space and light, and it sounds like it was in the perfect location. But I guess Amber wanted to live somewhere a bit further from Hollywood. After selling this home, Amber Rose moved to a mansion in Tarzana. Although her new home was gorgeous, it wasn't without its issues. Terrifying situation for Amber Rose who was apparently sleeping inside her Tarzana home along with her young son when someone broke in and hung out for several hours. Although the robbers didn't take anything from Amber's home, it's pretty damn creepy they just lurked inside for hours while those in the house slept. However, Amber ended up staying here despite the little incident. Amber Rose paid around 4 mil for this place back in 2016, and it's slightly away from her old neighborhood in Hollywood Hills. Tarzana is a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley of LA, close to Encino and Hidden Hills. Other celebs that call Tarzana home include Chris Brown and previously Iggy Azalea. Amber's mega mansion in Tarzana is 7,233 square feet and has 6 beds and 8 baths, which is close in size to her previous house. Of course, her two story home is gated, but it isn't as private as some houses considering there's a full street view. Inside Amber's home, you'll find a huge kitchen with three ovens and two dishwashers, but I'm not sure why you would need that much. We know Amber enjoys her boom bod in this kitchen. You can dine in the kitchen or the formal dining room. Her home has high ceilings, a large open space living room, fireplaces, a statement staircase, and other seating rooms. Other features include a library and a bar. Her master suite has a beautiful private balcony and of course an ensuite bathroom. There are actually Actually, three balconies upstairs, and one of the other large bedrooms has a walkout terrace too. Outside Amber's Tarzana Mansion, there's a fountain and a large motor court at the front, as well as a three car garage for additional parking. Amber's backyard is even more impressive. There's a large outdoor bar and grilling area, a fire pit, a swimming pool and jacuzzi, as well as two tennis courts. I never play tennis, but I guess it's a perk for anyone who does. Even though Amber lived in this Tarzana mansion for some years and she still owns it, we have reason to believe her and her family moved into a new house last year. More recently, in March 2019, Amber Rose took to Instagram to show off her new bedroom furniture and caption the video saying, I just moved into a brand new home. Now, although I couldn't find where this new house is, I'm going to assume she's still in LA and close to the same area. All we know is that Amber got some custom furniture she wanted to show off, like her metallic bed and white sofas and chairs. It looks like their room was designed pretty slick and also has dark blue accents throughout. I'm going to guess that Amber is keeping the location of this new home private considering the break-in at her Tarzana mansion in 2017. If you guys know more about this new mansion Amber moved into, be sure to send me links or let me know down in the comments. So now we've seen Amber Rose's properties, including her previous home in the Hollywood Hills and her $4 million Tarzana mansion. We also know that she's moved into a new home with her family, her man A.E. Edwards, their new baby Slash, and her other son Sebastian. Although Amber showed her new bedroom over Instagram last year, there isn't really any other information out about the new home aside from that. As far as I know, Amber still owns her beautiful mansion in Tarzana too because there was no proof of it being put on the market. If you guys know where the new mansion is, let me know because I'd love to see the rest of it. What did you guys think about Amber's mansions? Which was your favorite? Personally, I liked both her previous Hollywood house and her Tarzana one. Woman has some good taste. Let me know in the comments. So I love reading your comments and I appreciate all the feedback, so keep it coming. Maybe less of the nasty ones though, I could live without those. Oh, bruh. I'm sorry. Now I'll read some comments from previous vids. On our Harry Styles house tour, Genevieve Barton said, He seems to be very smart with his money and career. Seems to be a very hardworking man who loves what he does, and that makes him successful. Thanks, Genevieve. A lot of you guys had only love for Harry, which was super nice to hear all his fans. He's definitely lovable. On our Will Smith house tour, Lacey Hawkins wrote, The railing in the Calabasas home is amazing. The whole vibe of the home is so warm. It's like a dream. And on our Jeffree Star house tour of his new mansion, Sheila Turner said, I love everything about his new home, and you know when he puts his touches on it, it will be even that much better. 
I agree, Sheila. I can't wait to see how Jeffrey decorates his new mansion. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Amber Rose's multi-million dollar mansions in real estate. Did you guys like Amber's houses? What was your favorite part? Be sure to tell me in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I got some requests for a few like JLo and Diddy, so maybe those are some you guys will see soon. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye.